Stellar or the XLM token is on a massive run. Let's have a look at what's behind all of this. Is suddenly the usage on chain going up? Are there some news coming up? Let's have a look at how much longer this really can potentially last and what's driving all of this. Because that's the idea of this channel, right? We want to look at as many data points as possible. We want to go beyond the prices because if we simply just draw random lines on charts, we're probably not going to find a market edge. Now, is there anything interesting happening on the Stellar chain? Is the usage shooting up? I actually do have my doubts. What we see over here is the number of newly created assets as those orange bars and this spiked in March and April of 2021 but since then momentum tends to rather slow down. Is the number of payments on Stellar rising? The answer is no. Is the number of trades rising? The answer is also no. And so no matter what kind of metric you look at here's the transaction success rate. There seems to be a peak around the DeFi summer in 2021-2022 but since then things rather tend to decline. So why is the price going up? Is this a potential explanation. This is the total value locked on chain. So how much value is currently in the Stellar network? And this appears to be a potential explanation, right? This is rising very, very rapidly. Since the beginning of November, this 3x'd. Now here's the price development. We are currently at 59 cents and we are up 37% today, 203% this week and more than 500% this month. And so the price of XLM more than 6x'd, the total value locked only roughly 3x'd. Now a lot of the value on the Stellar network is also interlinked with the XLM price, right? When XLM goes up, of course, the value that's locked up in the network also goes up. Now when the price goes up much more than the TVL during the same period, we can pretty much say that it's not just adoption that's driving this, right? It's still a price-driven rally. It's not a DeFi usage-driven rally. All of this appreciation in the total value locked is just because the price went up. It's not because DeFi went up in usage. Now here's a very important concept in crypto. I don't think that US dollar charts mean much, especially over long periods of time. Because of course the US dollar itself devalues over time, the US money supply expands by roughly 6.8% per annum, but the main thing is crypto as a whole expands and contracts with the Bitcoin price and with the Ethereum price. And so of course when Bitcoin climbs to new all-time highs and is now close to 100k, a lot of the altcoins tend to outperform as well. And so I believe it's more useful to look at Bitcoin denominated charts for the altcoins, not at US dollar denominated charts. We want to see do we get our additional risk by buying altcoin compensated? Do we make more than just buying plain old Bitcoin? And so this is what we've got over here. This is the XLM chart divided by the Bitcoin price. And since August of 2014, we did outperform Bitcoin slightly by 40%. But of course, that happened under massive volatility from top to bottom we went down by 97.7%. Now I find this magnitude very very impressive because obviously the usage and the fundamentals haven't really changed that much. A lot of this is simply just hype, it's attention, it's potentially also price manipulation. Now I believe there's even a slightly better approach to look at relative valuation and that's not looking at XLM relative to Bitcoin but to look at this relative to Ethereum and the reason is the altcoins tend to be more correlated with the Ethereum price than they are with the Bitcoin price. What we have got over here is a correlation matrix and have a look at the numbers at the very first row and compare them with the numbers at the second row. The numbers in the second row tend to be higher. Now when the correlation coefficient is at one it means that two assets move in the same direction at the same time. When it's at zero it means they don't have any connection with one another. Now unfortunately Stella is not listed over here but it is a somewhat constant observation. It might make sense to look at all kinds relative to ETH not just relative to Bitcoin. And so that's then the relative valuation to ETH. Stellar measured in Ethereum also outperformed pretty much to the same degree, 40%. But compare those two charts, right? They don't look the same. This is the Bitcoin denominated chart. This is the Ethereum denominated chart. The Ethereum denominated charts tend to have less volatility. They tend to go up and down a bit less. And so this bearish trend that we have seen since November of 2018 seems to have finally broken. Here's one more alternative to plot the XLM chart. This is the XLM dominance. So how much of all of crypto is in Stellar? 
and this went from 2.7% all the way down to 0.1%. Now, what can we learn from this despite that there's a lot of volatility in crypto? What I find interesting is that once we look at historical price patterns, once we look at historical rankings, there is a lot of dynamic. Let's take this data point here on the 19th of November 2018, when Stellar was at its height in the relative standing within crypto. There is an interesting website. So this is CoinMarketCap forward slash historical and what we can see here is the crypto ranking on different days in the past so we can zoom back into the past we can look at a particular date in time and we can see what kind of cryptocurrencies were at what spot for what price and so let's look at the 19th of november 2018 here is that ranking bitcoin was at number one xrp was at number two it was larger than ethereum and stellar was at number five today stellar is at number 11 but check this this out once we go a bit lower on this chart there will be a lot of names you've probably never ever heard before and this is the potential cautionary tale here have you ever heard of bitcoin or of icon or of pandi x or steam or butom or metaverse etp or populous those tokens are long forgotten and that's the risk and so it might be tempting to try to find the next stellar now right stellar already went up a lot it might potentially come down people might take profit but what about the next thing that goes three four five x within a month maybe that's not stellar maybe that's something else but picking that something else is dangerous because most tokens most of the time underperform bitcoin and even if you had bought one of the better tokens let's say for example xrp or bitcoin cash or eos one of those top tokens they even underperformed bitcoin and so yes maybe there is now a turnaround maybe we start seeing altcoin season but we can't yet definitely say this this is the other's dominance so this is the cryptocurrency market cap of all the altcoins that are not in the top 10 and in the last roughly three years this went down from 19 percent all the way to 8.7 percent a drop of more than half we are now starting to rally quite a bit again but this is within the realm of regular volatility what i take from all of this is not to completely stay away from altcoins but instead to trade altcoins very actively and to mainly take those altcoins that really have potential that can do 10x maybe 20x right when we take on that much additional risk when we take on idiosyncratic risk above just buying bitcoin we want to get the potential upside as well and so have a look at the top performers in the last week yes stellar is among them and stellar has billions of market cap but check out a lot of those other performers many of them are not in the top 10 or top 20 tokens many of them have just a few hundred million of market cap not 18 billion the only issue is that once we go smaller on the market caps and we potentially have more upside potential that the failure risk of a trade also goes up in other words we need to have a market edge we need to know more than the average investor now the way i approach this is through wallet tracking so i like to track other wallets i like to look at wallets of other influencers of some insiders of top traders and i simply monitor what are they buying what are they selling so have a look at just the recent alert here this is the newest alert that i received alex becker dollar cost average into the spectra token starting at two dollars 38 that was over here since then within a few hours we're already up nine percent or let's scroll up look at the next token here the bankless bought the anon token at 3.3 cents so that was over here pretty much the bottom afterwards we went up by 22 percent now we are coming down somewhat let's check the next again bankless bought clanker at 29.26 Again, a little bit of appreciation, not much, but at least positive momentum. I well, have a look at this alert over here. This is the Martini guy that bought $5,000 worth of the moon token directly on Pump Fun. So this was not when it was listed on Radium. This was still on Pump Fun for four zeros, one two. It was an epic pump and dump. We went up by more than a thousand percent, then collapsed. But even after the collapse, the price is still 10 times larger compared to when this alert was generated. This was at 4012 and now we are at 3014. And so here's Alex Becker. He's got 1.5 million subscribers. And when he talks about a token, of course it has to go up, right? It generates all the attention. And here's the Martini guy with roughly 150,000 subscribers. And so here's how we get those kind of wallets alerts. We first have to find the wallets through on-chain analytics and then we track them. So we've got 12 wallets by Alex 
Becker. And we've got 12 wallets by the Martini guy as well. And so I really like this approach. I like to buy things that insiders are buying. I like to buy things that influencers tend to pump. And because of that, I made a dedicated tutorial section just on this topic. How can we find influencer wallets? How can we get alerts for those influencer wallets? And how can we then also interpret the signals that we get from those alerts? It's all part of the premium membership of this channel. Feel free to check it out. It's down below, thebitcoin.com. It's not just about wallet tracking. It's also about on-chain analytics and relative valuation charts and back testing and risk management and portfolio diversification. There's more than 100 tutorial videos in total. Once we have a wallet signal, we of course also have to discuss what should we actually buy? What should we sell? We have to also compare the on-chain analytics. That's why we've got dedicated chats on the individual altcoins as well. So feel free to check it out. It's currently 125 US dollars per month. There's also a one week money back guarantee. So in case you don't like premium, in case you don't make money, just message me within the first week and I refund you 100%. There's really zero risk for you. So can the price of Stella go higher? Can XLM appreciate more? Yes, of course it can, but it's probably not an organic rally, right? We don't see the usage numbers going up much. We rather see that probably the market makers are driving most of that appreciation. If you got some value out of this video, feel free to subscribe. I publish this regularly. A like would be very much appreciated as well. It helps the channel grow. See you in the next video or see you in premium.